Hey, what's going on? This is Tyler Green Regimen, and I'm leaving the gym right now. And I had two of my friends at the gym ask me the same question at two different times. So I felt that this is a question that many of you will probably have or a situation that you run into. So let's address it. So that question was, Ty, I'm going to do the challenge with you. But what if you have a significant other, a husband, a wife, a boyfriend, a girlfriend who doesn't want to do the challenge with you? What do you do in that situation? So first of all, it's awesome if they want to do the challenge with you because that makes this month of, uh, or that month of January 1st through 31st that much easier because now you have someone who wants to do it with you. You guys can eat the same foods. Everything's all good. The caveat to that is though, if they don't want to, or if let's say, for example, they start with you and they're in it for 14 days and then they stop, are you gonna stop? See, that's where you have to challenge yourself. And that's where I want to discuss, because if you have a significant other who doesn't want to do this challenge with you, you have to go back to the reason why you're doing the challenge, because that's most important. Why are you doing the challenge? Is it because you just want to get through the month, actually having one month out of your entire life that you have the cleanest eating, the cleanest regimen possible? Are you doing it because you want to lose a few pounds or... If you just went to the doctor and found that you have an issue, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and you're looking to reduce that as much as possible. So you have to go back to that reason why you're doing this challenge. Secondly, you're doing something positive for you. And I'm sure your significant other, if you haven't discussed it with them, I highly recommend you discuss it with them, I'm sure. that since you're doing something positive for yourself, if they don't want to be a part of it, they'll at least support you. But at the same time, if you're the one who does the cooking, then you might just have to cook two separate meals. And that's just what you have to do. Because if you want to be successful with this, this is going to be, this is going to I'll be a mental game as well. It's not just physical with you rejecting the food options. It's going to be a mental game. But you, you can definitely succeed. But this is why we're planning ahead of time. And this is why we're having this conversation now. So if you're the one who does the cooking, you might just have to cook two separate meals. Or you can say, hey, I'm going to cook one meal and you'll have to fend for yourself. But, you know, I don't want to cause any relationship schisms at all. So, um, but yeah, definitely have the conversation with your significant other. Don't just shock them with it on January 1st and say, hey, I'm doing this challenge. You know, I don't want anyone coming after me or anything like that. But um, yeah, again, this is for you, you know, and when it's all said and done, January 1st is going to be here. And as I told you before, before you know it, January 31st will be right here. And you have to really look at yourself and think, did I complete the challenge? Did I resist all those urges? Did I do it for 31 days? Finally did something in my life that I could be excited about? The fact that I fought off all of those urges? That's the question that you'll have for yourself. And I hope the question is yes. And of course, like that's why I'm doing this challenge with you. I mean, any type of adversity that you face, DM us, please. You can leave comments in the comment section. You're not the only one who's going to go through this. And I don't want to make it seem like this is something cataclysmic, life-altering. But for some of us, I mean, our obsession with food is outrageous. I just, I can tell by the conversations I have with people when they tell me what they can't, what they can't give up. Can't give up meat, can't give up cheese. I mean, please don't let food. Please don't let food be what grips you. I was going to say, please don't let food be the death of you. But in a lot of situations, that is kind of the situation. So um, it's 31 days. So have this conversation with your significant other. If you need to make two separate meals, that's just what it takes. I mean, in my life, I have to do a lot of things that I don't necessarily want to do in order to get the result that I want to get, such as going to the gym every morning, such as eating right. Because if I didn't do that type of thing, if I didn't have the type of optimal blood results that I have, I wouldn't be confident even making these videos and, and talking about it with you. So, I mean, if you even take a quarter of my intensity, you will most definitely succeed. So there you have it. All right. We'll see you next time. Oh, by the way, I did release a video where I show you a lot of the food options at the grocery store. So please check out that video. And um, we have some green regimen merchandise available as well if you want to pick some up. See you soon.